Life for Ivan before West Dallas Community School was really difficult and uh, stressful to say the least. Well, every day I'd be lucky enough if I even just had one bruise because I would always get bullied, I would always get called names. He had difficulty relating to other children, difficulty of course in school, so he was always a dis distraction. I kept on tattling and my teacher got tired of it so she put me in the back like by the door and worst of all there's just like this little pamphlet showing history and now it's behind that. I couldn't even see what the teacher was saying or doing. It was such a stressful time for us because the problems from school would uh, filter into the house. At night I would always say I hate this school. Just one day, I was driving down the street, uh, down on Canada, Canada Drive, and um, I would always see children playing out in the field. And I just thought, that's what I would love for my children. When I came here, and I was pretty nervous because I thought it would be like those other schools that I went to. I was um, hoping for the best, but expecting the worst because of our past experiences. Kids treat me nice here. I'm having better friends. The first time he came home and he was just so excited, he was like, Mama, Mama, I have a best friend. And just to hear that from my child at age 10, it's the best gift ever. I love history. I get to learn about different things. I love math. I certainly like science. I like to mix things together. Behaviorally, um, he was much more responsible for his own things. He, um, his study habits really did improve. As a parent, you always want better for your children. You always want them to achieve much more than what you have achieved. You always want them to be in a safe, loving environment. And I can't think of a better place than here at West Dallas Community School. I feel safe, I feel guided, I feel like I have a shepherd right by me. Like, it's like God is a shepherd and I'm just a lamb. I heard about the diversity that they had here at West Dallas, which drew me in. And so when he told me about this school, we came to the open house and did lunch. And then I was more impressed that they had the, I think the third and fourth graders at that time doing a recitation of the Constitution. And just with, I was wowed. It seemed like the perfect place in a time when schools are cutting back, classes are getting crowded, uh, values are not being taught. This was the place for me. And then once the teachers and the administrators talked about the values and the discipline that they expect from for the children and from the parents, we, we all kind of met in the same place. I thought it was our little diamond that I don't, didn't, didn't want to share with too many people, <laughs> but I gave the information to my, to my pastor, uh, he gave it to his friends, all of, all of my family, and we just wanted them to come to the open house or to come to Grandparents Day, come, come to one of the special days and just see the kids, you know, and see what they do and it is just amazing. And all of the teachers love all of the kids. You can see it. Even in carpool, they get out in the morning and they hug each other, so. I, I love the faculty here. I think they're great. I truly believe that the classical Christian education is the way to go. There's no better way to educate your child. Definitely. Oh, and I pressed that part too. I was, yeah, that everything comes back to how to what God has to do with it, and I love that part. And then they're starting telling us about parenting classes. At first, well, I looked at it and I'm like, parenting classes? I came to the parenting classes the first time, and my husband said, so what was parenting classes about? I said, how to talk to your kids, how to have patience with your kids, how to tell your kids to love them. And my husband said, Rosemary, our kids know that we love our kids. They know, we don't need to tell them. And I said, Freddie, it doesn't hurt to tell our kids that we love them. They need to know that we love them. 
And then my husband said, well, I grew up, my parents never told me that they loved me, but I knew that they did. And I said, then let's just try to do something different. Um, let's try not to do the same mistake that our parents did with us. So my husband, the next time, he said, um, there's parenting meeting again. And then he said, well, I'll go. Why not take advantage if they're trying to help you out to be a better parent? And my husband wanted me to tell you, thank you from both of us. Our life, we're starting to move on with our new life and with our son. And there's no way, there's any kind of words that I could say thank you to the school.